Hi Leo, this is going to be a general love reading for mid-March 2021 for your Sun, Moon, Rising and our Venus signs. It is general, that means it's not going to resonate for all of you and that's okay. You can check out one of your other signs if that is the case. And also do keep in mind that the roles can be reversed, alright, because it is general. Um, I do have a different camera angle this time around. Because I have a, a, a client who prefers this angle, so I switched the camera. But do let me know if you guys prefer this angle and I will keep it this way. Otherwise, I'm going to go back to my older um, setup. So let's see. Leo, what is going on with you? Second half of March. Oh, all right, we have third party and crossroads. Okay, so pretty clear message here. Third party does not have to be um, another person or another relationship, but it definitely can be. Um, it could be a situation though. Okay, so do keep that in mind. So somebody here has a third party, right? A third energy that is serving as a barrier between the, the two of you. And there's a decision here that needs to be made, all right? Somebody needs to decide which way they're going to go. So it, this could even be, if this if it's your person that has a third party, it could even be you that's deciding whether you're going to stick around or um, take a new direction. And it could even be your person, all right? Having to make a choice here. So let's get into it and <clears throat> and figure it out. So Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Mid-March to the end of March, 2021. All right, so for your situation, we have the Four of the Swords crossed by death. All right, wow. <clears throat> it feels like there's definitely some kind of an ending here that is um, lurking. I feel like there's a... Something needs to be ended. This is what the challenge is, that something needs to be ended. And somebody, I feel, has been pretty passive when it comes to making a change here. Let's see the recent past. We have the hanged man. Yeah, so there has been a lot of procrastination, all right, when it comes to an ending of some sort. Near future, we have the four of wands. For you, we have the tower. For them, we have the ten of wands. Let's see. More about you, we have strength. For them, the wheel of fortune. It's a lot of major arcana here. And potential outcome with the eight of swords. All right. Don't let that freak you out. So it looks like you, you're, <laughs> you're going through a major um, crisis possibly or just feeling something very, very different, something new, feeling like something needs to give, okay? So I feel like it's not a very easy time for you at the moment. It could be that you feel like this is just done, this, this situation with this person. And I mean, it, I do feel like this is making you stronger though, all right? Because you also have strength here and this is completely your element here, Leo. Um, so whatever it is that's going on here, because it almost feels like there's an ending here in the situation, there's an ending for you, and I feel like there's an ending also for them with the Ten of Wands as well as the Wheel of Fortune. Definitely some kind of a shift. So it's, it's kind of like, wow. You're both processing some kind of an ending. in one way or another, and I'm not necessarily getting that it is um, between the two of you. All right, for you, for example, for you, it might be feeling like this connection is done, and then for your person, it might be ending whatever that third party is, all right, if that's them. Or it could even be the other way around. All right, but definitely um, the other person here, there's some kind of a burden that they've been carrying, um, a lot of responsibility, so that's why I feel like it's them that needs to make this decision mostly um, because they've been carrying a lot of weight on them 
and it, I feel like they're ready to make a change here with the, having the Wheel of Fortune. So I feel like it's them that has been um, procrastinating or stalling from making a change, from, from ending something. But again, it, it could even be you. All right, now it's interesting that for the near future we have the Four of Wands, which is something very positive. It's something very secure, very stable, moving in that direction or something of that nature showing up for you. Um, but then we have the Eight of Swords for the potential outcome because it feels like there's still some some fear here. And it it could be you, it could be them. We're going to clarify and try to figure this out. Let's see. So let me clarify the Four of Swords with the Death card. All right, we have the Queen of Swords and the Six of Wands. All right. I, I all right. There has been some kind of... <clears throat> okay, whoever this is needing to make this decision, needing to close something out, there's a lot of clarity. I feel like whoever this is, they know, this person knows what it is that will bring them success. They know what it is that they want. And I feel like they, they do feel this determinism that they want it, but it feels like there's just been this stalling regardless. Regardless of how much clarity there is, for, for what it is that is going to be in their in their highest good. Um, let's see if we can figure out why. And again, it could be you. It could be you wanting to end this connection and you know just feeling like you're dragging it out. Um, but I'm mostly getting that it's them for another situation. Let me see the hanged man in the recent past. The Wheel of Fortune again, and the King of Pentacles. Yeah, see, it's interesting because whatever it is that they were stalling on in the past, all right, it's not very, very clear, whatever that is, but a shift that needed to be made, possibly when it came again to some kind of a commitment, and it could even be work, all right? It doesn't necessarily have to be um, a relationship, as I said, although it could be. Whatever that was <clears throat> that they were holding back and stalling from shifting, from making some kind of a necessary change that would be for their highest good, they're in that energy now, though. All right, with the with the wheel of fortune. So um, let's actually clarify them first. Let me see this ten of wands. All right, the moon, the king of swords, and the five of pentacles. There is something here that. <clears throat> I feel, I feel there's something here that's scaring the shit out of them. Um, whatever that is, though, <clears throat> again, they, they are very, very clear as to what it is that needs to be done and what it is that they want to do. They're very clear about it. However, it just really, really scares them. Um, it's, it comes with this energy of... of either fearing rejection or fearing um, some kind of a loss that if they are to make this change, they feel like, you know, that they're just going to lose so much. They're going to lose something and it just all feels very um, scary and unknown. Like they don't know how they're going to be able to handle that. I feel like it's mostly in their heads. I don't feel like they're really going to be um, at such a loss as they feel or as they think that they are. Um, I feel like this is mostly an illusion with the moon being here. And especially because we have that Eight of Swords also in the potential outcome, I see this as really being something in their heads, um, being like over dramatic about, <clears throat> about making this shift and what the consequences might be. I feel like this person also um, possibly, you know, um, has the tendency to 
take the victim role. Not on purpose, but, you know, not like trying to make people feel sorry for them or something like that. It's more of, I mean, that could be maybe for some of you, but I'm seeing it more of just them feeling like a victim, like, like that there's just, you know, it's very difficult for them to find a solution, even though they know what the solution is. <clears throat> well, let me see the Wheel of Fortune. Because I do see... I'm making some kind of a shift here, so let's see. The Nine of Cups, the Ace of Wands, and the Chariot. Yeah, I feel like they're they're going for it, um, even though it scares them. Um, it, it's like taking a new direction here. Finding that motivation, finding that drive, because there's something that they really want, and I feel like that is you. And in order for them to have you, they know that they need to face a fear. They need to face a fear, which is going to be most likely the way it's coming through here, releasing um, a third party, or at least, I mean, depending on what this third party is, right? If it's a relationship, obviously, you know, they would need to release it completely in order to be with you. Um, if it's something like work or just something else, you know, they might be able, they might be able to have some kind of a compromise. Um, it could even just be physical distance between the two of you and um, them having to, you know, make, make a move. A physical move. So let's see what's going on with you. Let me see that tower. Because it feels like you're going through um, <clears throat> something pretty... Oh, the tower again. Wow. Okay, yeah. You're definitely going through something really big here. Queen of Pentacles. And the High Priestess. I don't know. I, I don't know what this is, <laughs> to be honest. I really don't know what this is, but I feel like whatever it is, it has to do with you finding yourself. Um, you really like having to almost like a rediscovery of your of yourself and who you truly, truly are, what it is that you deserve and how to nurture your own self. So I feel like you you feel like this might be done, all right? Which could be why you're going through this. And because you feel like this is done, it's it's forcing you to really go within and learn how to nurture your own self, how to get more in touch with your own intuition and with your higher self. You're becoming stronger because of this. So let me see the strength card. The world, the six of cups, and the ten of swords. Yeah, you're feeling a very strong um, ending here. It's like, it feels like death, um, almost. It's It could even be a death of, you know, your ego or of something you were holding on to or how you felt about the situation or how you felt about yourself but you're definitely concluding something here and it is painful it's not it's not easy i feel like there's a longing of the past and it could be that you are releasing something from your past which is in relation to this to this connection to this person but again you are finding yourself because of this. You might not even be able to realize that now because if you're going through this tower moment now, it's going to be hard to really see things clearly and to really um, see the bigger picture. But it, you're, you're growing. You're growing through this a lot, actually. So let's see this, this Four of Wands, which is in the upcoming future here. All right, the Ten of Wands and the Knight of Cups. Okay, so it feels like... You... 
you are going to find some sense of stability regardless, all right? It could be that this person is coming through here as this Knight of Cups, all right? Coming to talk to you, um, showing you that they have or that they are in the process of releasing this other situation, um, the third party. I It could be that, but it also could be you having released this situation, all right? Of waiting for this person to come in as this Knight of Cups. It doesn't really matter which one of the two it is, and I'll tell you why. Number one, you'll find out, <laughs> all right, um, soon enough. Number two, either way, what is important here is that you are going to feel a sense of security regardless, all right? And that's going to come from within yourself. That's not going to come from another person, all right? Anytime we feel a sense of security based off of another person, that's false. That's just an illusion. All right, we need to feel secure within ourselves before we can feel even secure in another connection. But it has to come from within, from our own self. So I feel like that is the message here is that you're going to feel that regardless. And if that means that also this person coming in and, you know, possibly even just expressing to you how they feel and letting you know that they feel this burden, that they feel this responsibility that they are trying to release, well then, okay, great. You know, or if they're actually doing it, you know, even better. As long as you're feeling this stability within yourself after having gone through such a difficult time period and really having to find that, just that new sense from your own self, all right? Because that's what I'm getting here also with the Queen of Pentacles. Unless some of you might be dealing with a um, with an earth sign here. Okay, that could be the case as well. Do let me know if that's the case. All right, so let's see. Let's see that Eight of Swords. Why is the Eight of Swords here in the potential outcome? All right, Ten of Cups, Nine of Pentacles, and the Two of Cups. All right, so there is a lot of love here. There's a lot of love. I feel like there is a strong potential um, for this connection to actually um, come together. For a lot of you, in a way where there's going to be um, independence of that third party, of that fear. Just the reason why we have the Eight of Swords here is because it might take a little bit of time, all right, is the message here. It might take a little bit of time for the fears and that, you know, sense of feeling like there's going to be a loss or feeling like a victim trying to figure it out. It might still need a little bit of work, but I feel like if this is something that you want and if this person does come through here, right, as this Knight of Cups and the Ten of Wands showing you that, you know, this is something that they are ready to release or releasing, you know, it might still take a little bit of time, but, but it's genuine. That effort is genuine. All right. Um, so really it's, it's up to you. So yeah, this crossroads could, could also be for you. And this could be why you're also going through this, um, tower because you might have to make a choice as well as when it comes to, you know, how strongly you feel for this and how much you believe that you can support this person through this through this process whether you can do that or not all right completely up to you all right so let's um let's get your final oracle message if this resonated and if it did please give me a thumbs up it helps me out a lot Leo, let's see. All right, we have like attracts like. If you long for more love, be more loving. This does not mean um, specifically to this person, all right? If, it, if the situation does not call for that, just take the message as it resonates. Um, if there's something that you need to release, okay, this is, this is all about the law of attraction, all right? If there's something that you need to release, you know, then by releasing that, you will bring, you know, that energy of that independence and of not being attached to something else to your life, all right? Um, if you feel like, you know, you've, you've held resentment, you know, then that's what you're going to attract as well. Things aren't going to feel as smooth. Okay, so if you feel like, you know, the message for you is to be more supportive, more loving, possibly even of your own self, 
then that is what you will bring in, all right? That's the message here. So Leo, those were your messages. Thank you so much for watching. Much love.